give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. The unseen, sophisticated crime. The birth registration form. An evidence of organized crime, of trespass, identity theft, usurpation, and enslavement against our life estate. Complete gratitude to retired judge Anna Van Rees. Yeah, because when people present information out there, it is incumbent on us to choose to cipher whatever information is presented, choose to apply ourselves, choose to remove whatever contradiction from the body of information that is presented and bring forth our comprehension and then apply such comprehension moving wisely. So it says a privately owned for profit corporations i.e. Government of Jamaica Agency. Under contract to provide government services have misrepresented themselves as the government and used that presumed position of public trust to defraud us, enslave us, and levy false claims against us and our assets in the foreign jurisdiction of international commerce. The misuse and abuse of the birth trust account, i.e. birth registration form, and their misrepresentation as voluntary private contracts has led to the literal enslavement of hundreds of millions of people worldwide almost a hundred years after slavery was universally outlawed. These issues of economic slavery and slavery via or by way of corporate proxy must be addressed or verbally declared. And the mechanism used to promote this abuse must be dismantled. The registration of live births in America or the certification of vital record in America and throughout the former British Empire, United Kingdom and colonies. Most of Europe and Japan is used not simply to record the birth of babies, but to name commercial vessels after those babies. These proxy entities may be vi variously constructed as trust estate or foreign citizens trust or even public transmitting utilities. The creators of these incorporated entities named after living children then operate these corporation and occur debts that they falsely charge against the living people using the deceitful similar name to defraud the victims. This is a bunker crime known as personage, knowingly mistaken on purpose a living man for a corporation using the same or similar name. For example, mistaken a man name Linton O'Neill Dallas for the retail department store doing business as Linton O'Neill Dallas. Or I can say for the registered organization. Registered organization doing business as Linton O'Neill Dallas. 
Linton O'Neill Dallas. This proven crime is routinely practiced by attorneys and barristers and is known as bar tree. Knowingly bringing charges against these corporate proxies as if they were the same as the living people they are named after and addressing or verbally They are named after and addressing or verbally declaring those same people as defendants in civil and criminal actions. This is the tip of the iceberg of the harm that is routinely done to the living people via the misuse of incorporated proxy entities like the all capital name. Merely named after them. It is a venial institutionalized fraudulent scheme that must be recognized for what it is and attacked by very peaceful and determined means, by every peaceful and determined means possible. When a child is born, the mother is presented with the paperwork that all new mothers are coerced to sign. When refused, the mother is blatantly told by too many sinning terms and Catholic nuns that she is a sign or the child would be kept in state custody and the mother would not be allowed to take the child home. Please bear in mind that the mother is a successful 40-year-old career woman with no criminal record, no additional addictional problem, and no mental illness. There was and is no possible excuse for the way millions of other American women are treated and the extortion used to secure an inequitable, involuntary and unconscionable public commercial interest in our babies as a shuttle property being bonded and used as collateral in fine in and used as collateral to finance the public debt of these private governmental service corporation pretending to be the American government, pretending to be the American government. What they're really doing is pretendering or pretender or, you know, negotiating, making an offer. And if it's pre, it means before tender. Before tender, it's not money. So we the people are the negotiations. You understand? And our documentation out there, it become a negotiable instrument. This is what I'm up on the stock exchange. Those agents responsible were and are criminal engaged in past ganging land assets into the international jurisdiction of the sea. Inland piracy, enslavement, human trafficking, unlawful conversion, extortion, racketeering, armed robbery, kidnapping, commercial fraud, and conspiracy against the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom secured, not granted, by the Constitution as amended April 8, 2021. Every single man and woman involved in this needs to be charged and arrested and thrown in jail without further delay, but the police are employed by the same privately owned and operated corporations that are benefiting themselves from these gross abuses. This is a police force that we depend upon to enforce a public law, not private acts and acts of commerce. Public law are operating instead as private commercial mercenaries or privateers not as public peacekeeping officers at all. It is obvious the foxes are indeed guarding the hen house of America. And when we say America, I mean in the continent, because we have North, Central, and South America. And the Central would be what I'm called the 
Awak chief dominion or the West Indian area, West Indies, or now they call it the Caribbean, but it's all America, the American hemisphere, this Western hemisphere. It consists of only America. Now, when we say, as I have explained, the organization we are dealing with are governmental services corporations, not our lawful government. They are merely claiming to represent our government in the absence of the de jure actual government, which is owed to the people, to us, and must be provided by the people, by us. This addresses the, the heart of what self-government means. Every living American, American Indian, has more civil authority on the land jurisdiction of continental America than the entire foreign federal United States government. It's time that we exercise that inherent power and put an end to the gross criminality, fraud, and usurpation by our public servants without prejudice give that so again with us i share information in an effort to bring honorable clarification because i've always said the agency known as the government of jamaica or even the united states all of these agencies cannot claim no kind of jurisdiction over the true and living man. The living soul manifests as man. So they must create a fictional persona, an entity called a legal entity or a juridic person or a juristic person, which is the surety. Why it is a surety? Only because there is no substantive money of value out there in the public it's all negotiable instrument so when we have the federal reserve bank note or federal reserve note it's in fact a negotiable instrument a means of tender within the corporate construct within their agencies yet yeah, as a venue or arena in their financial structure their commercial world. There is no money, people. There is what I'm called credit. Hence, everything is negotiable. Everything is about contract or good faith agreement. So again, in an effort to bring honorable clarification, we do choose to share these kind of specific information and this is why the RICO Act shall be applied because an organized criminal enterprise these agencies once they choose to go outside of public law and I enforce private acts and acts of commerce it's called treason yeah, man, it's called treason. That is it. Again, give thanks for the sharing of information. Give thanks for the opportunity to present these kind of information. And as we said, but never yield. And we say bold and brave, firm and strong. Yeah, man, just keep it pure. Keep it clean. Yeah, man. Just as light dispel darkness, is only truth will dispel the lies that is being presented. Is only truth can rebut these foreign agencies 
presumption. You have absolutely no authority, no jurisdiction. You're on the wrong side of the issue. Yeah, man. Correct yourself and choose to govern yourself accordingly. You public servants out there. You're not immune in no way, shape, or form when you commit criminal activity. You're not immune. You're not immune. Give thanks and praise, free people. Clap it up out there. Stay free. <laughs>